Marty here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to protect your hoverboard. When you first get your hoverboard, it looks nice and clean. It's got this shiny shell design to it and you wanna start writing it. First thing you do is protect it. Second thing you do is write it because you will fall, it will get scratched. And if you've got the, this protection on there, the protection gets scratched, your hoverboard looks awesome. This is one of my first uh, generation designs. It's a safety tread tape, putting it over the wheel well, putting it here, doing both wheels. It works pretty good, but then a couple months later, I came up with another design using self-adhesive chrome automotive tape and automotive trim. So this stuff, this is what it looks like. I get questions about this all the time. And I bought these at uh, AutoZone. You can find them on um, find them on the internet. And this this is what it looks like. This is how I protected it. We're gonna take this off today, and we're gonna put some new fresh ones on there because the the trim has gotten really worn. It's gotten roughed up quite a bit. But if you can tell, my hoverboard looks awesome. This takes all the abuse. Hoverboard looks great, and it's gonna look brand new. As soon as I do this. First we'll start taking taking this uh, tape off. Now you'll notice that this thing has kind of gotten some scratches and a little bit of bang up on it. This tape didn't work. It, it worked okay but it wasn't perfect and I'm much happier with my new design. This stuff um, comes off. Not the easiest thing to take off but, but it will come off. Now that we've got the tape off, you can take a good look at it. It's a little bit dirty. And what I have found is the best way to clean it, you can use other solutions, but I use alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Works pretty good, it's not abrasive. paper towel. <clears throat> Cleans up really good. I got no residue from the tape. And uh, yes, you do treat this like, like a baby. It's, uh, it's kind of a a nice little thing to have kind of proud to have it you want it to look good and um, a matter matter of clean from time to time is just the way to go protecting it is absolutely the way to go so now that it's nice clean we've got the old stuff removed it's a brand new board it'll come this way even shinier and cleaner than we've got it here this is where the fun part happens tape comes it's self-adhesive it's got just a 3m backing strip to it pull it off put it on it really is that easy
now that we have this on here make sure it's pressed on really tight so you can see I've gone over the wheel well gone around the sides of the wheel well gone all along the front and I even went all the way underneath the bottom previously you can see I I only did a little snip here but I thought I'd go all around the bottom you can see there are a few scratches still can happen along the bottom so maybe this will help out with that um, at least to some degree it does have a low clearance when you go over things so certainly if uh, you go over something a little bit high it will scratch it up anyway I think the design looks good now that it's nice and clean I actually like it better than than the black tape definitely definitely an improvement now you might not want to wait while I do this one and, and that's okay so I want to make sure I get it a few things uh, across to you if you're buying this for somebody and you're putting it under the Christmas tree before you put it under the Christmas tree and before you wrap it take it out of the box put this on there do it do 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 your uh, do the receiver a favor and put it on there because when they get it, the first thing they're going to do is, I want to write it, I want to write it. And they're not going to take the time to go out and buy some of this and and protect it. And, well, you want the Christmas gift to look good, don't you? So, that's, that's what I want to try to get out. Um, I'm going to speed this one up again, too, so it's not going to take quite as long. I, one of the questions I get from a lot of people is, hey, you put this stuff on there, can you take it off? You can see the black tape came off just fine, easy to replace. Um, this this automotive trim I'm actually quite certain it's gonna come off really well and like I said alcohol of course is the easiest most certain way to uh, to get things cleaned so let's go ahead and try start removing this oh um, and you know this time when I start wiping it down I'm gonna start with one of these uh, baby wipe type things clean it off a little bit first makes it a little bit uh, easier and wetter and get a lot of the first film off and then I'll start with the uh, with the alcohol. So. If I realized how easy that was going to be, I would have done this last week. Right.
Well, um, I do have to say I am still blown away by how how well this works. This thing looks brand new. I could sell this brand new, but I'm not gonna sell it. And I'm not giving it away. Okay, step and repeat. This is where I put the trim on this one. One pack comes with enough trim for, well, probably two boards. Let's see. And it looks great. One of the things I might not have mentioned was I didn't put this trim over any of the seams. Um, all the seams, pretty much I stopped right at the seam and the size of the seam. That allows me, if I need to, to um, take the screws off of my hoverboard, open it up, change the battery or whatnot. If you want to see more of my videos, and I've got a lot of videos on, on, the, um, on the hoverboards, subscribe below. If you don't have one yet and you want to save 20% on an IOHawk, use promo code San Diego at IOHawk.com. Hawk on.